Hi, how are you? Welcome to Club Magic Hour. When I thought about where we were gonna shoot today, I got really excited to shoot in our new Club Magic Hour bar. It's going to be a tea salon, um, and this is the tea bar. So instead of hiring bartenders, we're gonna have tea tenders. And this is gonna be a place in Ojai where you can come lounge and have a mocktail or a cup of tea or a pot of tea. And so we're shooting here today. It's very exciting. The only thing that's gonna be different when you come to visit is the P.S. I Love You will be gone. Um, this was a remnant of the last owner, and I think it's really cute, but our Magic Hour sign will be up there soon, so enjoy the Miami Vice orange uh, neon sign uh, as we um, tried to make it feel a little bit more like an apothecary than a Miami bar. <laughs> But what's really exciting about the video I'm about to do is we're introducing the sun and the sun is our August tarot tea. This is our members tea and then this will become a, an evergreen tea that you get to drink all year long. I am most excited about this tea because it is filled with magic from nature and happens to be grown in North America. The main ingredient in the sun tea is a holly bush and it's called Yopon. It is grown in Mississippi and Texas and Alabama and the Southern states. It is a slightly caffeinated adaptogen. And there aren't a lot of herbs that grow in America that are adaptogens, but this is one of them. And it was used for centuries by the Native Americans as a purification tea and as a way to create ceremony and to create ritual. Basically, it helps the body to become more balanced, both energetically and spiritually. And so we are going to make some and talk a little bit about the blend. We have two recipes, uh, but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mocktail out of it because this tea, Yopan's like a yerba mate sort of flavor and the tea has a little bit of a green vibe to it. It tastes green and I could not seem to get the greenness to um, taste balanced to where I would wanna drink it every day. So I was using spearmint and I was using peppermint and I was using all these different herbs and kind of beating my head against the wall um, not literally, figuratively. And I decided that I was just like, screw it. We're just gonna make it a mint Yopon tea. But then Ashley, on her way out one day for the weekend, said, oh, why don't you try a painkiller? And I don't even remember how it happened, but she said, a painkiller is pineapple, coconut, and nutmeg. And I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. So the next day I went into the lab and I started re-engineering it and we were like about to print labels, like this was a last minute shift, but it turned out to be incredible. And what I blended into it was um, apples, turmeric, moringa, pineapple, coconut extract. So it is, it is safe if you are, have a coconut allergy, it's an extract that has no nut left in it basically and nutmeg. And so this tea is a, interesting green, almost savory, sweet sunshine. And when we were formulating this, what I learned about Yopan was it puts you in a really good mood. I found this tea to be most uh, joy inducing. I found it to be such a, such a mood enhancer and there's a good reason for it. The reason being is that it, it Yopan is not only got a little bit of caffeine filled with antioxidants and polyphenols, but it also has theobromine in it, which is also found in tea leaves. We're gonna geek out on that in a little bit. I wanna deep dive into theobromine, but basically if you think of theobromine, it's what makes chocolate chocolate. It's what gets you high, a little bit high off chocolate. It also helps you when you're drinking tea to feel a little blissful. And theobromine is neuroprotective and it's also, it's kind of like caffeine's cute little cousin. It's uh, not so caffeinated and it's, uh, it's bliss inducing, joy inducing. So if you've ever done cacao ceremony or a chocolate ceremony um, and you're drinking chocolate, it's a lot like a tea ceremony. It puts you in a heart space, it opens the heart and helps you feel joyful. 
And as we were formulating this, I was feeling happier and happier and happier. And I, I found it to be a lift. And so I wanted to make the sun, because um, the sun in the tarot is the, ident it's your identity, it's your birthplace, it's who you were born to be, it's celebrating your personality, celebrating the traits that make you you. Because there's only one you, if you pull the sun card, what it is is it's a celebration of the uniqueness of you and your identity and who you were born to be on planet Earth this one time. You will never be born again. You will never be you again. You will only be this one person with this one personality and identity once. And so, as you can see, this tea also is the color of da -da -da, the sun. And it's bright golden yellow and it is divine. Ooh, oops, and that's a really loud sound. Won't do that again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a non-alcoholic painkiller recipe. And this is, uh, Ashley will post this on um, on this webpage uh, that you're watching this video on. So um, you can brew the sun tea um, extra strong or you can brew it nice and golden like this. If you make it into a very strong, almost concentrate, you can use two scoops of this in about eight ounces of water and you're gonna get like a really strong, almost syrupy concentrate. The thing about the sun tea is I added moringa to it. And moringa, if you didn't know, is unusually high in protein for a plant and it contains all nine amino acids. So it's a great vegan protein source. It's also really good for women going through menopause. It's very high in iron. It's very high in A, C, and E. Great for eyesight, great for skin, great for hair and nails, great for moods, great for immunity. So moringa is the miracle tree and it's called that for good reason because it literally has everything you need to be healthy, happy, and thriving. Now, I added turmeric also into this blend because, you know, Yopon and Moringa weren't enough. We had to add then the anti-inflammatory bright, bright golden turmeric into it because in Ayurveda, it's really been used for anti-inflammatory. It's also been well studied for digestion and it also helps with arthritis. So um, I'm gonna geek out on that in a second, but right now I'm gonna make this drink because Ashley formulated it and um, everything she formulates turns out really delicious. So I'm glad she can measure things when I cannot. Okay, one cup of strong brewed sun tea. And I'm just gonna eyeball this, but you guys have the actual recipe, which will be fabulous. So one cup is about that. Nope, more. Okay, so that's about a cup. And then one half cup of pineapple juice. And then one fourth cup orange juice. And then one fourth cup coconut milk. Ooh, it's so pretty. It already smells good. Then one tablespoon of coconut cream if you wanna make it extra creamy and delicious. And then one tablespoon freshly squeezed lime juice. Oh. Okay, and then we're gonna do one to two tablespoons honey or simple syrup. We're gonna add ice cubes, and then we're gonna shake it. We're shaking, we have a, we have a bar. <laughs> Magic Hour has a bar. It's kind of fun, right? Okay, and then I love these glasses that I got at Cost Plus World Market. So if you want to go look for them, you can find them there. Look how cute those are. And then I'm gonna take this off. Okay. Then I'm gonna use this, because these come in bars, just so you know. And then I spilled. Okay, this looks really, really, really good. A little nutmeg. Mmm. Okay, so another thing about nutmeg, was well, the first thing you're learning today, <laughs> another thing, because I've been researching it, is nutmeg increases your serotonin levels. And one thing I didn't realize is that serotonin helps turn into, it turns into melatonin. 
So when you drink nutmeg, when I was in India learning to meditate, um, my friend who's a yogi used to call nutmeg uh, yogi weed because he said it's what yogis can drink to relax. Like other people would maybe use cannabis and so um, and so it relaxes you and you can have it in warm milk but we also added it to the sun. So that is a really excellent drink. Here you have a nutmeg, um, a nutmeg, pineapple, coconut, lime, extravaganza, <laughs> and it's a non-alcoholic painkiller, which it turns out is a tropical drink, and um, we did this with the sun tea, with yopon, moringa, and turmeric, and nutmeg. It's a pineapple, it's got freeze-dried pineapple in it, and it's like a really yummy summertime flavor, but you can drink it year-round um, to increase your immune system, to increase your, uh, to balance your mood. It's an adaptogen, so it gives you energy as well as calms you down. So it keeps you in a state of balance and it's for celebrating uh, your identity, personality, and all that makes you unique. So here's to your health. <laughs>